Okay, welcome back. Hey, I just watched that video I just recorded, and when you hear my voice speaking like this, the word volcano originally. Trust me, it's a really good, clean recording, but you're hearing it come out of my monitor speakers and then into this microphone that I'm tapping on right there. So you're kind of getting what the room hears. You're not getting the pure digital recording that I have inside my MacBook. Trust me, the one inside my MacBook sounds beautiful. You're sitting right here in my office, you'd be like, man, Mr. Flick, that sounds great. And yours, I hope, sounds really good too. I hope just like we've talked about in the past that you found a nice quiet place to do your recordings so you get a good clean audio recording for your narration. Okay, so we've got that going on here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do two more with you. I'm at the beginning of this next slide here. I go ahead and press record. And again, I'm not panicked about, oh, I got to get over here quick. It's going to start any second. No, I don't have to worry about that because I just delete the garbage stuff from the front anyhow. Okay. Volcanoes are usually located where tectonic plates meet. This is especially true for the Pacific Ring of Fire, an area around the Pacific Ocean where over 75% of the volcanoes on Earth are found. Okay, let's go back to here. Let's press stop. Okay, here's me yattering, yattering, yattering. Now, I don't mind it going up here into the yellow as long as I'm not seeing any red. Okay, volcanoes are... Okay, this is me talking right here. Volcanoes are... So that's, I'm going to trim all the way to there. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. A couple millimeters before. Okay, that looks good. Let's go to the end. I'm yattering along. Okay. Now, you guys, I've been doing this for years, so I can usually get it done in one take. You might need three or four takes. You might need 10 takes to get the recording that you really like, and it's okay. Okay? You do as many as you need until you get it right. You saw me that first one, I just deleted it and I did another one. Easy peasy. I'm gonna extend this one here. This is quite a long one we're talking about here and then wait till it just snaps back there, snaps back, let go of it. All right, let's just see how this looks and how it sounds. Volcanoes are usually located where tectonic plates meet. This is especially true for the Pacific Ring of Fire. Okay, so that's looking good except that you can see it's starting to cut off here and yet we have, there's no, Pacific Rim of Fire over here. So it's just slightly got it wrong. Let me go ahead and highlight that clip, go up here. Okay, so the end really just needs to, I just wanna make sure that we're still staying on the red part over here rather than this part over here on Africa. Okay, so I'm just gonna maybe zoom in. I'm just gonna bring in that edge here just a little more and we'll just, we'll just do a slight zoom. Yeah, okay, that should look good. Let's go back to that and watch that. Volcanoes are usually located yeah, that's looking better. That's looking good. This is especially true for the Pacific Ring of Fire, an area around the Pacific Ocean where over 75% of the volcanoes on Earth are found. Woohoo! That is looking beautiful. All right, I'm going to do the last one with you. And then I'm going to let you free, and you can do the final four without me, and I'm going to do them without you. And when we come back, we will have uh, all of our narrations done. Okay, so let's do this one here. I'm at the beginning of the clip. I press record, I go over here to my script. Oh, this is a really long one. While most volcanoes form near tectonic boundaries, they can also form in areas that contain abnormally hot rock inside the earth, known as mantle plumes. These hot spots are found at a number of locations around the globe, with the most notable being Hawaii. I tell you, I could do documentaries. That's what you're thinking. You're like, Mr. Flick, you should be on the Discovery Channel. Whoa, we're already running credits. This thing is running so long. All right, so. Well, most. So I'm just gonna trim the first part of this one. There we go, slide it over to the beginning. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is me bragging. I'm bragging. Okay, let's get that trimmed back to here. Just a few millimeters from when I stopped talking. Hawaii. Hawaii, and then I stopped talking. All right, let's go over here and get our clip. Do, 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 do. Stretch that out. Stretch it out there. Wait for that little snap back. Okay, let's see what our Ken Burns effect is for that one. Okay, uh, looks like it's just doing a, a starts wide. I'm going to start low so really see that, that lava flow. And and let's, let's, uh, Hawaii, yeah, okay. I think, I think that's a fine one. I think how it, I, Turned out looking pretty good there. Let's just watch it here. While most volcanoes form near tectonic boundaries, they can also form in areas that contain abnormally hot rock inside the Earth, known as mantle plumes. These hot spots are found at a number of locations around the globe, with the most notable... Boy, you can barely see that photo moving. That's such a long one. 
I'm going to go ahead and, and fix that end one. I'm going to zoom that in a little bit more and let's zoom in on the volcano, the eruption part right there, just so we can see it working. Cause right now, there we go. Now you can really see it zooming in. Known as mantle plumes. These hotspots are found in a number of locations around the globe with the most notable being. Perfect. All right, I think you guys really get what I'm doing here. Uh, let's meet back in a few minutes. Uh, I'm gonna finish the last four. You finish the last four on your end, and, and then we're gonna talk about what's next. Dum, dum, dum.